Hi there. So I've just started using oil pastels again for the first time in, well, years and years. And I know also working in museums and things like that, that the best way to preserve them is under glass, not touching the glass. That's a really big mistake because when you go to unframe it, it'll be stuck to it. But having a distance between the glass and um, the artwork is the best policy. However, uh, if you don't want to do that, there are uh, ways to get around that. And I'm going to try a few of them and see which works best for me and might work best for you. So this is just a quick sketch. Um, I was just using all the different brands that I have from the top to me, Sennelier, um, Caran d'Ache, Holbein, and Mungno uh, oil pastels to have a real range going on here. So I'm going to try the first one with Spectrafix. So Spectrafix is in this bottle. It comes in a, a spray bottle. And after reading uh, some reviews that said that sometimes this sort of spray bottle will deposit um, big blobs of the liquid. So I opted for getting one of these pumps to use instead. So I'm just going to spray that. Now I try to spray at an angle and have think have the liquid kind of fall on top rather than spray from right above. So just going to move that over. Next up will be the Royal Talons Cobra Spray. I started using oil paints that are water mixable and that's the um, Cobra brand of Royal Towns Cobra brand of oil paints being water mixable. This is odorless varnish in satin. Give it a little shake. Again, I'm not really spraying directly on top of it, spraying from distance, trying to make sure I don't get those concentrated blobs of uh, liquid on top. And it's true, it's odorless, so that's something to note. Now, I'm aware that it might take more than one coat, it may take a few coats, but I'm just trying to see where it leads us. I'm just going to mark here is where that Cobra Spray starts and finishes. Now the other three come in um, bottles. So I'll have to get a brush to put those on. So this one's the Liquitex Matte Medium, and it comes in a bottle like, like so. And this is where I might have to rejig things and maybe do a spray first before putting this on, but I'm trying to skip that uh, step so that it's just one, one product that I'm using. But if it starts to smear, this is the first time I'm using it, if it starts to smear, then I'll know the others will have to be done that way. And so far it's not smearing, so that's good. I do have to get some of that excess off. I 
and there we go there's that one this is so this is another um, matte medium from golden this time so I'm just going to dip my brush in and these are just products that I've had from my studio for a while that I use for other things and I'm just trying to see oops, if it will work for oil pastels. I did buy that Spectra Fix not too long ago for the oil pastels. I think there's a little bit of smearing there. I'm trying to be really, really gentle with um, my brush strokes so that I don't smear the... Actually, that could have been because there's a little bit of, I think, black in there. Always clean your brushes before using. And so last, not least, just going to lay this one gently on top, is the self-leveling gel. I've used this product for doing um, transfers before, and it's worth a treat. It's very glossy, so if that's what you, you want, this would be a good product. And as the name suggests, it levels out. And I'm, for this sketch, I've used um, Canson canvas paper. So that's the substrate that it's on. So you take this all off. This one got stuck on there. And I'll let it dry for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll see which worked best. So the products have been able to dry a little bit. The uh, Cobra spray is still a little tacky. I don't know if that's something that's going to take a lot longer to dry or maybe it will always be tacky. I'm just reading up on and I don't see anything, it's just warnings more than anything. So we'll see how that goes and I'll leave um, a note in the description. The Spectre Fix is a little tacky still too. And maybe I just didn't put on enough. <clears throat> that is probably the case. The Liquitex matte is fantastic. There's no smudging really, nothing comes off on my fingers really, unless you're really, really pressing down and sort of breaking that barrier. The gel matte medium is also pretty good. That black line is that little bit of black pink that was in the jar. And the self-leveling gel, gel is also really good, but it gives that kind of glossiness to it. So if you don't like, if that's not your bag, then I would try the either of the gel mediums, either the Liquitex or the Golden Matte Medium. Um, I think that's the way to go. I think that's, it's either of these two that I'm going to use. I might do a fine spray of the um, Spectra Fix just in case. <clears throat> so I'm not smudging anything, but even applying it with um, the brush, I didn't notice any of the pastel smearing when I was doing that. So that's, that's good. So you could just use the one product and maybe do a second coat. Um, so we'll see if that stops being tacky. As you can see, it's coming off in, 
on my hands so it's still not dry and also is potentially smudging. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let it dry for 24 hours and I will put um, the results down in the description below. So just a quick update here. Uh, it's been 48 hours since testing out these sprays and the Spectre Fix, this one, is not as tacky as it was, but it's still, um, color is still coming off of that. So maybe another coat would fix it. Um, that was after two coats in 48 hours. This is the Overless Varnish from Royal Talons Copra. And same amount of time, two coats, and it's still very tacky. And not as much. It's more tacky than anything. There is some color transfer, but other than that. But the other, the other matte mediums that I use and the self-leveling gel are all so good especially the matte medium. The self-leveling gel is a little tacky, but mostly pretty dry to the touch and not transferring. So I think I'm gonna go with the matte mediums. Thanks very much.